Greeting YouTube, this is Pheasant 815 saying Happy Fourth of July to you. Uh, a friend of mine on YouTube noticed that in my disassembly reassembly series on the 1911 that I do not have a video on reassembling uh, the frame. And that's because that footage never got fully edited and then it's been lost. So today for you I'm going to quickly show you how to reassemble the frame. But to do so first, we've got to take this one down. Um, always make sure to do safety first. Go to remove the magazine. Make sure there's no magazine and that, in fact, the pistol is empty. Oh, there you go. I can visually and physically inspect. I've got the safe weapon. Let's go ahead and take it down. Here we go. All right, we're back at the reloading table. It's always good to have a clean workspace, so getting that broad head out of here. Razor sharp. Anyway, so uh, you're going to need a couple things. Uh, you got your punches, you got your hammer, you got your, uh, your, for Springfield, your safety retention piece. Basically, you could use a punch for that if needed. Anyway, the main thing, this video is mainly about because I have videos on how to disassemble vis visual videos on how to ugh, disassemble the slide as well and how to put it back together. But I don't have the one on just the frame, so let me go ahead and do that. I, uh, lost the footage originally on that. So, anyway, now that it's been made safe, it is, hammer is cocked back, safety is engaged, I'm going to rotate, let's get that frame, rotate the plunger, or no, rotate the bushing, remove the plunger, there we go, then you take off the safety, slide through here, again, now this video has been done in more detail already by me, already, but I'm just disassembling it real quick for you. So that way I can disassemble the frame and reassemble the frame. Now that, that, there you go. This is not needed for today's discussion, but this is the end product that we're looking to get, a fully assembled frame. To do that, I'm going to disassemble this frame so we can reassemble it. Let's go ahead and start from a disassembled frame, shall we? Let us. All right, we have the disassembled frame. Now, honestly, I still have my grips on there, but... Uh, that's pretty self-explanatory to loosen these screws just like you do any other screw except you want to make sure you have the right bit to not strip those down. Do be careful on that. Using a uh, gunsmithing screwdriver, gunsmithing tool bits uh, makes sense. We have a very bare bones frame. If you always take stuff out from right to left or left to right then you can just kind of go backwards in order and usually that helps save you a little bit of uh, confusion especially when it's your first couple times. Now I've already taken the trigger out so let's put the trigger in on the spring field you have your adjustment on the bottom and honestly only will fit in there one way yours may be different but uh, there you go once you slide that in you take the magazine release slide it right in there Oops. It usually doesn't get stuck on you until you're filming a video there you go so now that's in you need to engage it so Take my bit. I don't even use all screwdrivers. You don't need hardly any tension at all. Push it most of the way out. And you can kind of just feel the groove. There we go. And you just twist. What happens, the spring releases its tension in there. And now you have a working magazine release. That's first step. Put the trigger back. Magazine release. that holds it in. All right. Put my bit away. Next, this is honestly the most difficult part of reassembling the frame. You gotta find these two guys. Pain in the butt, these two. Ooh, these two are when you're first starting to reassemble these for the first time. Honestly, um, I st these two give me a pain in the tush sometimes too. The flat piece, let me see if I can get the focus. This flat part goes forward. This will actually touch the rear of your trigger. And this you'll see popping out the tip of your frame uh, when you take off the slide. So I'll show you that again in a second. Pointy part goes up. This is what the hammer gets caught in, all right? And this, the same, these two will line up. Oops. Like this. See that? See how you see the blue through the hole there? You gotta put the pin through both pieces. It's a little tricky. Well, let's see if I can show you how to do that. All right. Some people like to put them in there together, um, and they're really good at it. I like to try to put them in there together, 
start with and usually fail. So not a big deal. Punches, I, you're not actually pushing with the punch, it's just using it to guide it. So I'm sliding it in the hole. Now where it's going here, as you can see it's resting on the back of the trigger and there's the hole in the top. That's where that piece will come through. See? And then you just need to put the spring. Now, they're not spring, the uh, pin. When it comes to pins, you got the flat side and the round side. The round side goes to the right if you have a and for mine because the on the left side is where the safety is so I'm going to go ahead and line it up just tap tapping with this not really pushing but putting it in it's got to go through both parts there you go so now the pin is in round part whoops round part to the right flat part on the side with your safety all right when it's smooth there, that's why the flat piece is there, so that way it can go back and forth. Honestly, that's probably going to be your most difficult part. Uh, it looks pretty easy because I did it at once. Honestly, uh, even now, sometimes it takes me two or three tries to kind of jiggle it, jiggle it to get it in there. Once that's in, though, take your hammer. I don't disassemble this. I've seen people break this up. I, I don't know why. There's how much crud can possibly get in that little space, but uh, maybe if I bought an old one someday. Gonna slide it in there. It goes in that second hole. This is where your your first pin went. Second pin's bigger. It's hard to mix up. It's round on the right. It's flat on the left. And that hole goes right there into it. And you've got the teeth that's going to connect. All right, I'm going to slide that in. And if you look down, you'll, you'll line up the hole so you get the pin through it. Flat to the left. Round to the right. Slide it in, hammer forward, and move this out of the way because your next piece is your spring. For mine, I gotta go in top first, then set it down. The bottom will hit that little groove hole there. The spring should rest looking like that. Alright? Now what you need to do next is take your main spring housing and you need to get that started in there. Make sure your grooves are nice and clear there or that can get jammed up on you. You don't want little pieces of anything up in there. There we go. And you don't do it all the way, but you do it just enough to get it started because you see as I get it started, it pushes the spring down. That will come in handy later. I'm gonna flip the spring down. I did it a little too high, so no big deal. Just slide it on out. There you go. And I'm not closing this off or anything yet. All right. And, uh, rear grip safety. I'm going to go ahead and put it in there again. That hole is going to be, go right through right here. Now there's no pin for that because that's your actual safety is the pin as well. So we're going to go ahead and slide it in there. You can see how the, the spring there will sit. I like that. That's what that part does. Then once it's in there, you should see, there's my shirt through it. It's all lined up. You gotta kind of push it in there because it wants to pop because there's the pressure of the spring. At this point, this piece, it's actually the spring and the two plungers. Uh, some have a bench so they don't go flying out. Mine doesn't, it's straight, so it shoots out like a rocket. So I gotta be careful of that. I leave it together, slide it in. Small end goes in first. The big end, whoops, the big end's on the outside. This is for your safety in a second. Now I'm still holding this because I need to keep that space there. On the safety that goes in first. And it initially it goes in pretty easy until as you're getting close that plunger is going to be in the way. There's a myriad of ways to handle that. You don't need to hold it so tightly anymore because the safety is in there. Oh, nuts. Okay, no big deal. That kind of stuff happens. The Mangsburg housing slid its way out, the spring tension pushed. So now I'm going to go ahead and undo my safety. Put the main, put the spring in again. Put the main spring housing in. 
you know, don't when, when stuff goes wrong when you're putting something together, no big deal. Especially when you first start out, it's going to happen a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot. And uh, yeah, it still happens to me now. So anyway, putting the safety back in. Get it in there. Thumb safety goes in the hole. Jiggle, jiggle, jiggle. We'll push it a little bit tighter this time. Anyway, um, so as you see here, again, the plunger right inside there is hitting, so I can't push the thumb safety in any further. So what you do, or what I do, there's a myriad of ways to do this, is to take the pin, I take a thin one so it's really narrow, and I compress the plunger down so that way it can close a little bit more. You can see right in there, I push the plunger down so I can close this tighter. Then once it's in, just jiggle it all the way in there. I let my hammer move and that's a pain in the took us when that happens. Alright, making sure now I get fitted in the groove in the mainspring housing. And if you did it right, this should go right in there and you can see the daylight through it. If this starts to get forced, don't jam that shut. Go back. You might have had something in the way or there might be some crud in there. Take it out, clean it out, figure out what the problem is. Don't jam this shut or uh, you might have jammed it locked in place and that's a problem. Anyway, before you put that in, let's go ahead and do some checking here. Make sure everything's set. Oops. All right. Everything seems to be where it needs to be. Pin the round side to the right like everything else. The dimpled side is where you're going to hammer with your pin. Just going to line it up. Once it hits its pressure point, I like to just double check everything before I ram it on home. Some people like to use brass uh, punches for that. Fine, go ahead. I'm just hitting steel pin with a steel touch pin. Uh, you know, I run the risk of scraping that pin up, but I've done that quite a few times and it doesn't look any worse to wear. But if you really, 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 really want to be careful, go ahead and use the brass punch, but I think you're going to mushroom that head pretty quick. Now, before you just go ahead and put the slide back on, let's do some function checks of this. Magazine spring compress? Yep. Safety go on and off. Oh, whoops. <laughs> That's why you check. I, uh, if you cock the hammer back, it takes the tension off and you can remove your safety pin. See? That's why you check. Now let's try it again. Okay, magazine spring? Yep. Safety on or off? Yep. I like to hold the hammer so not to let go. Pull the trigger, it releases. Yep. Hammer cocks. Doesn't fire without the hand safety. Doesn't fire with safe thumb safety. Both safeties engaged. Yep. Works great. Everything looks good. That's how you reassemble the frame. Hope that helps, friends. Uh, whenever you have a question, feel free to ask me or another member of our online firearms community. Uh, we, we're, all, we're all part of the same group here. We all have an enthusiasm for firearms. We, we love learning and making videos. So when you have a question, by all means, do ask it. Uh, if you have a question about how to take down a 1911 all the way and you want actually a decent video, um, I have a more full, complete video of how to do that, as do a ton of other folks. And we would love to, to show you that. Um, oh my lord, what am I doing? can't talk and do things at once, I guess. Anyway, if you want to see a more complete video of how to reassemble the 1911 and how to disassemble it, I've got those videos too, so you don't have to try to do it with this makeshift video that's just really showing you how to put the frame back together. But the 1911 is a wonderful platform. It's not as easy to take down as a Glock, of course, but then again, it wasn't made when the Glock was. It was made much later on, and it served us well. Friends, as always, be safe, be smart, have a great day. Happy 4th. Make sure you vote. Bye. Happy 4th. God bless. Long live the Republic.
Dun dun da da dun 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 d